Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about five caching strategies in microservices and cloud architectures. Caching is one of the key areas that is used to improve performance of your application. So let's see what are the caching strategies that can be used. The first one is cache aside strategy. So cache aside strategy primarily uh, is when the application, your application talks to both the cache and the DB, that is a database. Let's look at the architecture, how it looks like. So if you notice, the application first gets the data from the cache. If the data is not present, it will be a cache miss. In that case, the application is going to read the data from the database directly and then update the cache. So uh, that is the cache aside strategy. Some of the characteristics, this is a read strategy. Uh, it is a lazy loading strategy. And it is quite widely used in uh, memcached uh, and Redis architectures. There are definitely benefits and drawbacks to this strategy. Uh, some of the benefits are that this is resilient to cache failures, right? Because uh, if the data is not present in the cache, you can always read it from the database. This works for read heavy workloads, wherever there is a lot of read, this definitely works. And cache and DB schemas can differ. Uh, because uh, there is no correlation between the cache and the database. They are not connected. They are both connected to the application and the application is responsible for updating both the database and the cache. So the schemas for the cache and the database can differ. However, there are some drawbacks. Uh, the cache can become inconsistent with the DB uh, when the application writes directly to the DB. Right? For, for example, when you are writing to the DB but the application has not yet written updated back to the cache and in between there is a read that happens uh, in that case the application will try to read from the cache but since the data is not yet written to the cache it will be a cache miss so uh, the cache can become incons inconsistent with the database which basically means that the cache can possibly also serve stale data that is cache aside strategy uh, the next strategy is read through strategy in the reads through strategy, the application reads from the cache and the cache reads from the database if there is a data miss, right? If there is a cache miss. Uh, let's look at how the pattern follows. So if you notice the application is getting the data from the cache, if there is a ca cache miss, if the data is not present in the cache, that is going to talk to the database directly. Get the data from the DB, update the cache and then re return the response to the application. The application is not talking to the database directly in this strategy, right? So let's look at what are the characteristics. It is a read strategy, a lazy loading strategy, and the cache is in line with the DB. Remember in the cache aside strategy, the cache and DB were not connected. They were both connected to the application and the application was updating both of them. But in this case, the database is getting updated from the cache, right? So it's a read through. So which is where the cache and the DB schemas have to be same. So uh, we are going to talk about the benefits and the drawbacks. Uh, benefits are, yes, this works for read heavy workloads again, uh, primarily when the same data is requested multiple times. Uh, this simplifies the app, uh, application code because uh, the database can be abstracted because the application is not directly talking to the database. Uh, some drawbacks are uh, that the first read attempt is already always a cache miss, right? Because the application is not writing, not reading from the database. So whenever it is reading from the cache miss, if it is the first time, then the data is not present in the cache, right? So it first has to write to the database, update the cache, and then return response, which means that it can the application can also possibly serve stale data. Uh, the cache can become inconsistent with the DB when the application writes to the DB directly. And uh, the cache and the database, like we mentioned, the schemas have to be exactly same. So which is a bit of a constraint, uh, but that is uh, the read through strategy. Now let's look at the next strategy, the next pattern, which is the write through uh, cache strategy. What is it? The application writes directly to the cache, which writes to the DB every time. So it's very simple uh, pass through kind of a mechanism where the application is writing the data to the cache and the cache is writing the data to the DB every time when they, whenever there is a call. So uh, what are the characteristics? Uh, it's a write strategy and the cache is updating the main DB every time. The benefit 
there are few benefits of this the cache is always consistent with the db after the after the write completes because uh, the write is going through the cache so uh, it is always consistent with the main data store uh, this is this works best when the write is less and it helps in data recovery if there is some problem then you always have a place where the data is always stored in the back end database right so so the uh, the data recovery is a is a possibility in this case there there is one drawback though uh, this can introduce additional latency as you can understand because in the write path there are two systems which are written a cache as well as the database for the write so it can in, introduce more latency to your calls the next pattern is the write back strategy uh, in this case the data is always written to the cache but db is updated only occasionally so this is very similar to uh, the write through strategy uh, application writes to cache and cache writes to database but not every time in the write through strategy uh, the data is written to the cache and the uh, uh, cache writes the data to the db every time but here you basically you can also batch the writes to the db so uh, application writes to cache always and the cache writes to data only occasionally uh, what are the characteristics it's a write strategy uh, it is widely used in most relational database like InnoDB and all uh, there are multiple benefits this is resilient to db failures because the data is always written to the cache so if there is a database failure or if there is a database downtime uh, the applications can, can still work because it can get the data from the cache uh, it works for uh, write heavy workloads and write latency is reduced uh, in this case because obviously you are not writing to the database the main memory every time right you are batching the operation so the latency is reduced however there is a drawback a drawback is in case of a cache failure there is a possibility of a permanent data loss right so, since the db is written sporadically so uh, it is possible that you might have a data loss and the next uh, pattern is the write around pattern what is the write around pattern the data is written only to the db and read only from the cache right it's a it's a three way so uh, if you look at this the application writes the data to the database database and whenever it gets the data it gets the data from the cache always and the cache is updated from the database uh, so this is a write strategy obviously and it works it it is good for cases when the data is not read immediately after the write uh, which basically means which brings us to the drawbacks uh, that the application can serve stale data because if the data is written to the db and immediately read from the cache when the data is not yet updated in the cache it can cause a cache miss so uh, it application can possibly serve stale data and the read latency might be higher because it might take the database to update the cache and the cache to then respond back to the application uh, in general uh, designing whenever you're designing a system it makes sense data which is which is not changing frequently to always have uh, a cache for them uh, because you don't want to read from the db every time and a good strategy is also to use uh, the write with the read through cache strategy basically to get the benefits of both worlds right and that also helps when uh, when there are mixed workloads so it can work for all the kinds of workload scenarios data is written frequently read frequently so it failures can be accommodated data consistency can be guaranteed so accordingly design your uh, systems when how to use which kind of caching strategies so uh, this was the five caching strategies hopefully this was useful